Good day. Welcome back to the class. On this tutorial today, I'm going to take you on how to cut a mole child skin pump. Let's start. Now, before we start, I'll tell you the procedures on how you, you cut a mole child skin pump. Now, this is the hair. This is the pump. First of all, you carve out the pump. After carving out the pump, you skin this other side, you skin the back. You carve out the pump, you skin this other side. Then after skinning the other side, the punk, you create a space for fading by the side. Now after creating a space for fading by the side, you have to use step one to bring the up down to the satisfaction of their parents, to the satisfaction of their parents. Now after that, you have to clean those lines. After cleaning those lines, then you cut the hair and put it part by the side. Now, this is how you start. If you're carving the pump, make sure that you carve it in between, in between the eyebrow, in between the eyebrow, just at the center of the eyebrow, that's where you get your measurements. At the center of the eyebrow, that's where you get your measurement from the two sides. This is the eyebrow, just the center, you cut it. The center, you cut it. Look at what I'm going to do. In between the eyebrow, in between the eyebrow, cut the form. That's where you start. Don't take it too far so that it will be big. Remember, the male child skin pump. Then over to this side, you cut it. Take it too far. I see it. Yeah. The center between the eyebrow, the center, you cut the bone. Now, after that, you have to skin this other side. Skin this other side. Remember what I told you on how to set your blade? If you want to skin the hair, you take this blade adjustment up. If you want to bar blow cut, you bring it down. Then, if you want to still do cabin, Take it up, carving up, shining up, but look out, it's down. Now I want to skin this side, I have to take it up because I want to skin this other side. Not here, here is the point, here is the concentration. This side, you have to skin it. You skin it, you have to skin it to the parents' satisfaction. So you apply all your blades. For a perfect vibration. Now another thing about children's court is uh, it is stressful. It is stressful because they are always uncomfortable whenever they are cutting their hair, even when they are doing any other thing. But you have to have patience, you have to apply patience to enable you to achieve what you want on their hair. Make sure that the blade is not paining them. Because that's the basic thing that will make them feel uncomfortable while they are cutting their hands. That's 
that's for children. As you can see, we are done with the first stage. We are done with the first stage. Now let's go into the second stage. Remember what I told you before you start to cover the pump. And the exact point where you take the measurement is at the middle of the eyebrow, at the middle of the two eyebrow, where you take it so that it will give you a perfect measurement. At the middle of the, of the eyebrow. Now don't take it too far. Don't take it too far. Just cut it short at the center here. Now you start the second page of the pop. Now you create a space for blending. Now you creating a space for blending, you have to remove that settings from shining down to low cut. Remove the settings from shining. I started like this, shining. Then bring the adjustment down for low cut. Now take it back. Just a bit. Take it back, just a bit, beat. Do the same, this other side. Do the same, this other side. Take it back a bit. Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get our video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us become more. Thank you. It's not too obvious, but you have to follow these procedures because if you don't follow these procedures, it will stress you and you might end up not getting what you want. It's not too obvious. The second stage of the barbering, it is not too obvious, but you have to follow the procedure. Now, after that, you need step one. Bring the hair down. Bring the hair down to the parent's satisfaction. This is step one.
have a make it on your left and right. But you cannot make it on your left, just use your right. You cannot be conversant with your left, use only your right. But as for me, I use left and right, I use the both hands. But the earlier you learn it, the better for you. Satisfaction. The next thing you will do now, in between the corners, in between the corners of the second stage and the level you've given the bump, what you will do is still on this step one level, still on this step one, you take it back gradually just to make sure that the, the, the higher side of the bump and the second stage of the barbell comes together just to make sure that the higher side of the pump and the second stage of the battle that is not too obvious comes together take it back bit by bit don't rush don't be in the haze While the clipper is working, your brush should also be working. Smart. Your two hands have to be flexible. Smart. Your two hands have to be flexible. You have to be smart. So this is it. And then after this, you remove your step one. Now at the second stage of the body. There is a line. There is a line. After shining this other side, after shining this other side, the second stage of the barbie, in which you use low cords to take back, there is a line surrounding the pump. There is a line surrounding the pump. Now, what you would do is you have to take the blade back to the skin level. Take it back to the skin level, and then. Clean the line gradually. Clean the line gradually. Look at what I'm doing. Clean the line gradually. Don't rush. Just take it easy. And you see that the line is cleaning. Clean the line gradually. Gradually. Don't take it inside because if you take it inside, you're giving you, you're giving yourself double work. It's a double stress altogether. Gradually, don't take it inside. Now, this is what we got. Okay, for this side, I have to use my left. Gradually, don't take it inside. Don't take it inside. Then after that, there is something I call raking. There is something I call raking. I rake the hair so that if there is any part that the step one does not smooth well, the raking will smooth the part. And this is why I call raking. If I want to rake a low, a low pump like this, I'll set my blade at 
the low cut level. I'll set my blade at the low cut level and I start rake. This is how I rake. You rake the hair. So you're raking the hair, you're brushing it. This is how I rake. Remember, if you want to rake, set your blade to the low cut level. If you set your blade to the skin level, it will skin this hair. So the reason why it does not skin the hair, this hair is because I set my blade on a low cut level and I rake. Breaking it. So that's all. After that, you cap the front. When you want to cap the front, the blade adjustment has to be on. Take it off. Make sure that the bigger blade and the inner blade are equal to each other. No one is bigger than no one. Then you can cap to achieve a sharp cabin. When you are carving, be serious and make sure that you are not distracted by anything around you. Skin punk. As you can see, we are done with the haircut. This is a male child skin punk. Remember what I told you at the early stage before I started. Before you before you bab, before you bab a male child a skin punk, you have to make sure that your play is well organized so that the male child, so that the child will not feel uncomfortable. Before you start, you have to carve out the pump first of all. Now, where you get the measurement is at the middle, in between the eyebrow, not too far, not too short. Now, after that, you skin the other side. After skinning the other side, you create a space for blending. After creating a space for blending, you have to use step one to bring down the hair to the parent's satisfaction. After doing that, you have to still use the same step one to fit the side, to enable the higher part of the pump come together with the lower part of the pump. Then after that, you return your blade back to skin. 
when returning your blade back to skin, you have to clean those lines that we created at the second stage to enable a clean job. Then after that, you have to rake. That is, if you want to rake, the raking is not that necessary. It's not that necessary. If you want to rake, you can rake. Then after that, you start carving. After the carving, you have to put a line. So, thank you very much for the class today. See you in next class. Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more. Thank you.